Hello, welcome to this presentation of Procoro to Sage. My name is Aura Marcherosian. I'm going to show you how to integrate the Procoro application to Sage. Um, Procoro allows you to do things like purchase orders, requisitions, three-way matchings, and so on. And one of the requirements is to be able to air, import some of that data into Sage. So we can import various different um, data sets into Sage, including suppliers, products, purchase orders, and purchase invoices. The most common thing is approved purchase invoices that need to go into Sage for processing uh, payments to suppliers. Data is also required to go from Sage back into Procoro, things like you know stock records, stock quantities, prices, outstanding invoices, and we can do all of those as well. So, um, and both of those can be uh, both imports and exports can be scheduled. In this presentation, I'm going to do the most common thing, which is importing purchase invoices into Sage. So let's go and have a look at that. So in Procurori, what you can do is export details. And here are, uh, you'll be familiar with this. So this is these are the Excel data sets that you can do for things like purchase invoices, uh, for products, and so on. So what we're going to do is actually do the purchase invoices in this particular case. If I go into Sage, this is my Sage, and these are my supplier accounts that I've been set up. And at the moment, they've got no balances on them. So what I'm going to do now is just literally go and press one button to import that purchase invoice. So all you do is you download the Excel spreadsheet and put it into that folder and press one button. And that button could also be on a Windows task scheduler, so that can happen every hour, every, every night or whatever it is. And you just wait for this black box to finish, uh, which then signifies that that data has been imported into Sage. That's it, it's finished. So let's go and have a look at it in Sage. So I'll go into Sage, I'll just, uh, there we are. So that's all done and here we go. So for example, if I go to the Apple account and look at the activity on it and just look at the outstanding, go over their credit limit and go to the outstanding invoices. And there we go, that's just, we've, that, this is, these are the two invoices that we've just imported from Precora. Invoice number 12 and invoice number seven, each of which have got a couple of lines and on the lines I can tell you which purchase order it was on, what the line number was, what the item was, how much it cost and so on. That's it, really, really simple. Just one click and your Precora data can be shown in Sage. Thank you for your time and interest in our Procura to Sage integration. Please feel free to contact us to discuss your requirements and to arrange a free trial. Thank you.